right guys so we are going to be doing um part two of this <laughs> massive haul of stuff that i have to share with you guys um so as stated these things came from yard sales and auctions so let's just get straight into where i left off um the first thing that i have is this sunset seasons of love baby quilt cross stitch kit this is brand new, um, hasn't been put together yet. I got this at a church sale. It was fill a bag for $5. I listed this as a buy it now for $59.99. So I told you guys I had gotten a um, lot of this Natural Advantage by Jane Seymour skincare set at an auction. I paid $15 for all of it and I've just been parting it out. Um, this is a nighttime renewal complex, one fluid ounce that is brand new. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I've already sold one of these before. This came from a skincare tray I won at the auction. This is by Cindy Crawford, Meaningful Beauty. This is called the Youth Activating Melon Serum. So that's brand new, still sealed. I have this listed as a buy it now for $49.99. That's what my last one sold for. Also sold this one already. This is, again, Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty. This is the Skin Softening Cleanser that is still sealed. And I have this one listed as a buy it now for $17.99. Again, that's what my last one sold for. And I also have another one of these. I feel like I still have one of these. So now I have two. This is, again, Meaningful Beauty Skin Brightening um, Decolle and Neck Treatment that is still sealed. And I have that listed as a buy it now for $15.99. Um, next item, I'm going to pop up a couple of solds here. Um, this already sold. This was a Wen Fig scented hair mask um, again came from one of the beauty trays i wanted an auction this sold for a buy it now of 29 dollars and 99 cents also from the same tray i sold this l'oreal revitalift um, apparently they don't make this stuff anymore so if you ever find it um, especially like if you go to sales where you know someone was an extreme couponer sometimes you can find those types of discontinued stuff um, at those types of sales typically I don't like those types of yard sales but sometimes there's some good things mixed in anyway that sold for a buy it now of $34.99 I'm also going to pop up another sold this was a crystal touch telephone it was brand new it had really large um, numbers and it was for like hard of hearing um, people. I paid three dollars for that at a yard sale and that sold for a buy it now of $39.99. Okay so let's get back into some other stuff that hasn't sold yet. Um, this is a little a uh, littlest pet shop figure. It's a little bunny rabbit wearing a removable hat and it comes with his little carrots there. I um won a bunch of Littlest Pet Shop toys at an auction recently. Don't know much about them. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to list them and that type of thing. This is the only thing I listed so far. I have this listed as a buy it now for $11.99. But then I also went to a yard sale and I got this huge box full of Littlest Pet Shop toys. So I'm just kind of over my head in Littlest Pet Shop right now. So that's gonna take a little while to, um, Kind of go through and then at one point you guys probably heard me mention i purchased like a large tub of monster high dolls um, there was also some ever after dolls in the tub as well so these here these two dolls when they were originally sold they were sold together in the same packaging so these are Ever After dolls, and there's a couple of accessories in there. So I did get those listed. I have these listed for a buy it now of $36.99. I'm going to have to start posting up some pictures of some larger stuff as well. This was for a set, a complete set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles plush um, plush toys. Eric paid $22 for these at an auction and we have them listed as a buy it now for $89.99. I got a complete set of these McDonald's Power Rangers the movie toys. So apparently back in 1995 
These were put out by McDonald's. So it's the complete set. There's two, three, four, five, um, six toys in this set. And these all came from that yard sale where I went to, you heard me talk about it in the last video, um, where I got all the Cabbage Patch Kids dolls and stuff like that. We paid $12 for this lot and we listed that as a buy it now for $59.99. Um, next items also came from that yard sale. This was for a complete set of Where the Wild Things Are figures. I'm just gonna pop up the picture because there's like a lot of them. Uh, we did pay $50 for all of these toys, but they were selling really well. And um, we have those listed as a buy it now for $219.99. I got an Avon perfume. This is in the scent Island Vibe. So this came from an auction where I purchased a bunch of Avon stuff. So I probably paid a dollar or less for it. And I have that listed as a buy it now for $14.99. I got, this came from one of the beauty trays at the auction. This is more Wen. This is the Wen Lavender Replenishing Treatment Mist. The bottle looks a little squishy, but the um, the seal's still still on there, and it comes with a little spritz uh, piece too. Uh, so this here I have as a buy it now for thirty seven dollars and ninety nine cents. I know there's like a love hate relationship with when um, they did have a I think a class action lawsuit against them where people were having problems with their hair falling out after using when. But then there's you know tons of people who swear by it and never had any problems. So you know it still does sell, but you know there are people out there who um, are completely against it basically but it's still able to be sold. Our next item is a perfume. This is an Issy Miyake Summer Perfume. So this has been used. It's only filled to like right here. Uh, this did come from the perfume box that I purchased from Belinda at her yard sale. So I listed this one for, um, I put this up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Um, I don't think I saw, <sighs> I'm not sure if I saw any listed or not. I think I might have, but I don't remember. Um, I've been getting some comments, and I don't know where this misinformation has been coming from. Like, if other people are putting out YouTube videos that, you know, aren't being truthful about stuff. I don't know, but I do sometimes get um, questions and comments saying that you can no longer list perfume on eBay and that kind of thing. And... That's not true. You can still list it. You just have to be careful with what category you're listing it in. Like if you have a used perfume like this, you're going to list it in the collectibles category. And in the collectibles category for perfume, there is in the drop down menu a selection for used to list used perfume. eBay has it that you are able to list as used in the collectible perfume category. So you have to list it just in that category. So it's not to confuse people. Like if you would put this in the regular perfume category, your only option to list is new. So if you're trying to list a used perfume, you're gonna have problems. Um, eBay will probably have a problem with it. And also your buyer, cause they're seeing that it's new, even though the pictures it's clearly not or in the description because you know, sometimes people don't read descriptions or look at pictures properly. So you just gotta be um, careful with where you're listing. So obviously this would go into collectibles. And then, you know, if you have a new perfume, like this one was new, um, you can put it in the regular perfume category. So hopefully that cleared up any kind of misconception um, with listing new and or used perfumes. Um, next I have this Dooney and Burke little signature zippered bag. Um, and then inside was a little clear, uh, like ID or license carrier. This would have come in one of the larger signature Dooney and Burke bags. They would sometimes, I'm like waving my arms everywhere. <laughs> I almost knocked something down. Um, yeah, anyway, this would have come with like a larger Juni and Burke bag. They used to come with like all different sorts of little accessories inside. Um, I got this at a yard sale. I paid a dollar for this um, little set. And I listed this on auction with a starting price of $19.99. 
All right, these next glasses, I got these at that um, church sale. You haven't seen the footage video yet, uh, but it was fill a bag for $5. These are, <laughs> I guess, a souvenir piece from Cove Haven. They're called Passion Potion. So they're like little, um, like smoky colored uh, goblet glasses. Uh, really cute. Someone probably got these like on their honeymoon or whatnot. Uh, so these here I have listed as a buy it now for $17.99 for the pair. Um, this is also by Wen or the maker of Wen, Chaz Dean. This was called the 613. It's an ultra nourishing daily cleansing treatment. So there are, I think, eight, eight packets of the treatment in here and they are all new, obviously. Um, this came from one of the beauty trays from the auction. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $35.99. Eric picked these up at a yard sale. Um, they are a little older. <laughs> the um, packaging on them are a little yellow, but they are new. These are called rod savers. So they hold up to three per side, a total of six. Um, fishing rods that's kind of crazy um he paid three dollars three dollars a piece for these and he has them listed as a buy it now for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents a piece i got this starbucks travel tumbler this is uh montreal and it's got like a little flip up flip up cap here so you can take it on the go i don't know what year this was from i want to say 20 2009, actually. Uh, I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have two bottles of Avon perfume. This, These are both in the scent Rare Pearls. So this one is in this kind of shaped bottle. Um, this one has been used a little bit. And then I also have one in this size bottle again that one has been used a little bit as well i listed those together as a lot since they're the same fragrance and i put them up as a buy it now for 19 dollars 99 and they came from one of the avon trays um, from the auction same with this next item this is also an avon item this is you by ungaro this is actually a lipstick in the shade pink rose I gotta show you guys the packaging on this. It's absolutely to die for. Like, look at how cute this packaging is with this little like ribbon, little mesh ribbon. And I'll show you the shade. It's a really like bright pink. So super pretty. I would never be able to wear a collar <laughs> like that. Um, this here I have listed. I put it on auction because I couldn't find any in this exact shade so just in case it was something you know more than one person was looking for uh, but i put it up on auction with a starting price of twelve dollars and 99 cents this also came from a beauty tray at the auction this is a pantene hair mousse so some hair products have been discontinued when i looked this up some of them were selling kind of high so i don't know why but i just went with what i was seeing this is new I have it listed, I put it on auction because I couldn't find um, this exact one. This one's for normal to thick hair, and I think all the other ones listed were just for thick hair. They just said thick hair. Anyway, I put it up on auction with a starting price of $19.99, so we'll see. I have another um, cross-stitch kit. This is by Dimensions. It's called I Love Country. So it just makes this really cute scene with a whole bunch of cows. <laughs> it's cows galore. I paid 25 cents for this. Um, no, I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale. And I put this up as a buy it now for $15.99. Sure that? I just got a cha-ching. We'll see what it is here in a minute. Um, okay, I got another perfume. This perfume also came from the box that I purchased from Belinda. This is a Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely perfume, but this is the liquid satin version. Um, and this one is like really desirable. Apparently, and I know it's hard to see, but there's like globs of what they call liquid satin in here. Uh, smells gorgeous anyway i listed this on as a buy it now for 89 dollars 99 so this one is a good one which surprised me since it's sarah jessica parker 
no offense to Sarah Jessica Parker, but it's one of those fragrances you don't really think of as like high-end, like you would say Gucci or Christian Dior, if you know what I mean. Uh, next item is in this <laughs> shoe box. I just have them stored in here. I got these dolls at a yarn sale. These are Aladdin dolls. So we got Princess Jasmine, and then we have Aladdin, and then there's like a bunch of clothes and accessories and all of that good stuff. I paid $1 for the whole box. I mean, the box itself is worth a dollar, more than a dollar. So um, anyway, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $49.99. These are older dolls and surprisingly they were selling pretty well. This item I'm gonna pop up over here because uh, it's a really large item. I just recently won this at an auction. This is for a whole set of those Kincaid old world Christmas ornaments. If you guys remember, I found six of them at a church sale and I was like, if you have a whole lot of these, they sell for more. Well, I found the whole lot of them a couple weeks later um, at the auction. I paid $15 for the whole set and I have it listed as a buy it now for $149.99. I got this bottle of Vince Camuto Solaire Cologne. This is a men's this is a men's cologne. Um, it's a brand new, large bottle. I was really surprised by this. This looks like, like it would be an amazing score, right? I think I paid, I want to say I paid $2 for it at a yard sale. It's not really worth much at all. I have it listed as a buy it now for $22.99. It smells great. I don't understand why it's not worth more than it is. Next, I have a set of three vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, storybooks. I got these out of a free pile at a yard sale, so I didn't pay anything for them, and I listed these as a buy it now for $12.99. That includes all three of them. Also from the free pile at that yard sale, I took this Digimon coloring and activity book. This is from 2000, and it hasn't ever been used. It's still... Um, new so I didn't pay anything for that and I listed this as a buy it now for nine dollars and ninety nine cents so I got um two vintage like horror books at a yard sale and I started reading the one um the other day when Eric and I went swimming and this I found this in there this is uh, this was in the book it's an old um Cracker Jack bookmark little plastic bookmark so I listed it. <laughs> I paid 10 cents for the book. I will eventually be selling the book after I read it. Um, anyway, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $9.99. I couldn't find any that had the Cracker Jack little boy on. All the ones I was seeing had animals on, so we'll see. Um, this also came from the perfume box I purchased from Belinda. I still have a lot of stuff to list um, out of that box. This is a Ralph Lauren hairspray called Get Hold of Yourself. It looks like this. This is from 1999, so definitely an older product. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I couldn't find any um, listed or sold, so I have no idea what that's worth. I got these two vintage wooden Germany smokers. So we got Grandpa on his chair with his newspaper and his pipe. And then we have Grandma on her chair with like a little um, cup of coffee or tea. So we paid, what did we pay for these? $10 for them. So $5 a piece. I'll show you what the bottle looks like too. Um, looks like that. Um, so ten five dollars a piece, so ten dollars all together. And I listed those on auction with a starting price of sixty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. This is a beauty item that came from one of the auction trays. This is called the Genie Instant Line Smoother. So this is still sealed inside. Um, I have this listed as a buy it now for $15.99. This is the last perfume, again from uh, Belinda's box. This is a Paris Hilton Eris perfume. I love the smell of this. I used to wear this back in the day. To me, it just smells like 
clean hair <laughs> like just freshly shampooed hair is what it reminds me of i think it smells so nice but as you can see it has been used um i listed this one here for a buy it now of 17 dollars 99 okay this next item is really weird and i'm like <laughs> even embarrassed to show to show it um this is an electrotherapy power box so it just looks like this. Um, it's by a company called Electrosex. Um, apparently, you can use it for shock therapy um, or you can use it in like kinky ways, I guess, if you're into that. Um, that scares me personally. But, um, you know, it it is missing things. This is just for the box, but it would have little like um, like pads with the wires that you would you know, stick wherever you want to stick to get a little bit of a, like electric shock current going through. So I'm sure it also helps for like pain relief and stuff like that. But I think the main purpose is the sexual is is sexual in nature. Anyway, these complete can sell for like upwards of two hundred dollars. So anyway, we paid one dollar for this piece here. That was all that was there. Um, and we put this up as a buy it now for $79.99 and we won that at an auction. It's this really cute glass, like see-through um, jewelry box, trinket box. It has this adorable little pelican on the top with a fish hanging out of his mouth. And you could stick whatever you want to in there. It does say made in Taiwan on the bottom. Um... I honestly can't even remember where I picked this up. This might have come from the yard sale where I was like filling up a box for $2. I can't remember. Anyway, I listed it on auction with a starting price of $12.99. It does have a bid. Eric won this lot of Rory the Racing Car. These are die cast toy cars. Um, apparently you could only purchase them at Toys R Us. So there's three different ones. This one's called Tin Top. Drago and then Rory. He paid nine dollars for the lot. It also came with another toy, which I'll show you here in a minute. I uh, put these up on auction with a starting price of thirty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. They look like they were selling decently, so we'll see. And then also in that lot there was a Tonka Copter Force. This is a metal die cast little toy as well. I think these are slightly newer. This is from 2014. Um, and we listed this one for a buy it now of just $9.99. I got another Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty. This is anti-aging day cream. This is brand new, still sealed. Have this listed for a buy it now of $19.99. So this next one, also Meaningful Beauty Cindy Crawford. This was a night cream. It did already sell. I sold it once before. <laughs> And that's all for a buy it now, $23.99. I also have this Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty Lifting Eye Cream. Um, this is still sealed. Have that up as a buy it now for $15.99. Eric won two of these Hallmark um, Nutcrackers. These are large nutcrackers. This one is called Noble Nutcracker. So it's brand new from Hallmark. He purchased these. Um, he, we have two of them and he paid $15 a piece for them and I listed these as a buy it now for $44.99 a piece. So there are two. Next item I'm going to pop up because again it's another large item. This was for a Bose um, Wave kind of like CD player stereo uh, type system. I only paid $5 for it at a yard sale because they said the CD player didn't work. I figured for $5, we'd at least take a chance on it. Like maybe we could tinker with it. Eric couldn't get the CD player to work, but that doesn't mean that someone else can't. Um, so we purchased it anyway, paid $5. I listed it on auction with a starting price of $64.99. Bose branded stuff is super expensive. Um, the radio still works obviously and sounds great. So you can still play music through it. Uh, just can't use the CD player portion unless of course, you know, someone who can fix it, uh, which I'm sure there are people out there that know exactly how to fix those things. 
This was a Monster High doll from that tote I purchased at the yard sale. I paid $50 for the whole tote of the Monster High and Ever After dolls. And oh my gosh, guys, I have so many to list. It's insane. Um, I think I've only listed maybe five or four. One has already sold, so I'm like already practically made my money back on it. Um, this here is called, what is her name? Her name is Monica Decay. <laughs> And I have her listed on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I got this really pretty hot chocolate pot or coffee pot. Um, this one here is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. And what did I pay for this? I paid three dollars for this hot chocolate pot and I put it up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. These items came from one of the beauty trays at the auction. This here is a Rimmel eyeliner in the shade Jungle Green. It's brand new. I don't know why like there's cuts in the cardboard. No clue. I listed this as a buy it now for $9.99. That's what they were selling for. Actually, I think they were selling for a little more than that, this color specifically. And I couldn't find this one. This one's a Neutrogena eyeliner in, I think it's Twilight Blue or Sapphire Blue. I can't remember. It's Twilight Blue. I also put this up as a buy it now for $9.99. I got this Victoria's Secret um, set. This is in the scent Bare Vanilla. So there's a fragrance mist and a lotion. I paid 75 cents for these, so $1.50 altogether. And I put these up as a buy it now um, as the lot for $22.99. Oh, no, I lied. There is one more perfume from Belinda's box. This is a Liz Claiborne Vivid Perfume. Looks like this. Uh, this one here I put up as a buy it now for $19.99. So I gotta buckle down at some point and get the rest of those perfumes listed. We won this big old thing at the auction. We paid $8 for this. This is called the Cinch. And it puts like spiral bounds onto like notebooks or books and that kind of thing. This thing is like super heavy. So I paid $8 for this and listed it as a buy it now for $79.99. I got this Neil's Yard Remedies Goodnight Pillow Mist. This smells like lavender. You spritz it on your pillow. It's kind of like an aromatherapy thing to help you relax and fall asleep at night. I got a bunch of this stuff by this brand at a yard sale. Um, I think she charged me $5 for like a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I put this up as a buy it now for $19.99. Um, I got another crafting kit. I pay 50 cents for this one at a yard sale. It's called Needle Treasures. This makes a really cute saying. It says, I try to take one day at a time, but sometimes several days attack me at once. So that is still new, hasn't been used. And I put this up as a buy it now for $24.99. I am starting to list some of the jewelry that I've been showing. Uh, I did list this lady head pin that I recently got um, at a yard sale. So this here I listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I still don't know who made this, if it was handmade or, you know, I don't know anything about it. So we're trying to auction and see what happens. Um, I also listed the Monet uh, giraffe pin looks like two little pin or two little yeah two little pins kissing two little giraffes kissing and that is signed Monet I listed this as a buy it now for $13.99 and then the only other jewelry piece I got listed so far was this um, Forstner sterling um, little bird on the fence pin so I listed this one as a buy it now for $29.99. I think there were two or three others listed and mine is the cheapest one, so we'll see. Um, I got this at an auction. I thought this was so adorable. Look at this little girl. She is made of ceramic. Her hair has that like spaghetti trim type of look to it. 
just looks like a little tiny doll sitting and she is marked made in Italy and she is signed as well on the side there the maker is named Lino Zampiva I never heard of it before but um, some of these pieces were selling pretty high so I took a chance on her I paid six dollars for her and I listed her on auction with a starting price of thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents um, I got this Polish pottery piece at the auction. It's shaped like a leaf, really pretty floral print, like all over it. Um, this here I paid $8 for, but it came with something else, and I'll show you what else it came with. Um, I put this up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. It also came with, when I purchased that, it came with this really pretty um, pitcher that has a lid. And this is marked Persian Ware Made in Germany on the bottom. So I thought that was really cute too. Um, you could use this for um, creamer or what have you. I like the painting all around it with the flowers. Uh, this here I have up as a buy it now for $25.99. This next item is so cool. We won this at an auction. This is all like carved soapstone absolutely beautiful it's called soapstone carving by dimu canada canadian handicraft is what the tag says so it is a um dog sledding um figure oh gosh this thing is so cool um there is a little bit of damage you can see where on this side the leather bit that would attach the whole way here did come off it is attached on the other side but um and then there i think is just a little bit of a chip on this one ear is what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh, this thing is so stinking cool. Anyway, we paid $17.50 for it and I put it up on auction with a starting price of $89.99. There's only one other listed and theirs only has, I think, two dogs. And this one it is really large. So we'll see. I thought that was a really cool piece. So we'll see the last thing i have to share um of stuff that i have listed was this really awesome pottery piece this is a little pitcher with uh, like distal fink birds this is by um russell henry and his stuff can sell really really high um i paid 22 dollars 50 for this at the auction and I put it on auction with a starting price of $124.99. That's what I'd love to get for it. Um, some of his pieces, like I said, sell really well and high. So we'll see about that too, but had to get that. Speaking of, let's see what that cha-ching was. Oh my goodness, I think I sold like a couple of things. Ooh, it's a repeat buyer. So I am assuming it's one of you guys. Hold on, let me see. Um, yeah, I sold a couple of things to Karen. So that's awesome. I, I love when it's like multiples of things. That's things I can get out so I have room to put this stuff on my shelves kind of thing. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna share with you some things that I picked up for myself. What are we at? 38. We'll throw some stuff in, just a couple. Um, I did get two Starbucks items. This first thing here was the Starbucks reusable hot cups. So these change colors when you put hot beverages in. So it's a set of um, six cups with six lids. And I paid $5 for that. I thought that was a really good deal. So I'm gonna keep those for myself because I'm slightly obsessed. And also I found this Starbucks cup. This is absolutely gorgeous. I paid $3 for this one. It's got this really pretty faceted top and this straw. I may eventually sell this one. I haven't decided yet, but it's like rainbow colored and really pretty. So we'll see, I might list it. Um, I got this pack of, this is a notepad, Primitives by Kathy. It says, be joyful and it's got like this really like vintage looking Santa on the front, paid a dollar for that. I like to write little notes on stuff like this when I am sending out you guys' as packages. So I got that for Christmas. And speaking of you guys, I found, oh, this was really awesome. This whole box, they're called graffiti stickers. I paid 50 cents for these. Um, it's like a huge 
pile of really cool looking stickers. They look like all Halloween stickers. Look at this one with the cupcake. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Let's just look through some of these because they're amazing. Like here we got a zombie. We got like a little skewer of pumpkins and an eyeball. Um, this one's kind of creepy. It says hide and seek. I mean, was this the cupcake that I already showed or is that a different cupcake? I'm not even sure. Yeah, there's different cupcakes. They're all Halloween themed though, which is awesome because I love Halloween. So, oh, there's an owl. So when it comes closer to Halloween, uh, you guys will be getting a Halloween sticker um, with your package. I'm actually, instead of like sticking it to a package, I'm just gonna put it in like your card or whatever in case you wanna use it or stick it somewhere or give it to a child or what have you. So yeah, I got those for you guys. Um, <laughs> this I got for myself, uh, hopefully, uh, pray to God, I never actually have to use something like this to like, you know, uh, defend myself. But I found this pocket knife. It's by a company called Femme Fatale. I paid 25 cents for it. I don't own anything. I've never owned a pocket knife before in my life, but um, look at how cute this is. It's pink with like little lips all over it. So I got that just to carry, ooh, look at that, um, in my purse. Like I said, hopefully I'll never need to use it. Uh, but I thought that was a good deal for a quarter. So got that. And then I also got, oh my gosh, guys, this was like the weirdest thing ever. So you know, went to that church sale where I filled a bag for $5. Never in a million years did I think I'd find this at a church sale. I found a Jeffree Star palette. See what this is called? It's called mini orgy. <laughs> I had a church yard sale. Oh my, I don't have anything by Jeffree Star. This is my first ever um, Jeffree Star makeup palette. It does look like it, um, some of these were slightly used, if you can see that. Gorgeous colors though. Um, if, you know, using used eyeshadow grosses you out, if you put some drops of rubbing alcohol on top, it will kill any germs. I mean, makeup artists do that when they, you know, constantly use the same makeup to, um, you know, make up everybody. It's a way to sanitize your eyeshadows. So I don't have a problem with it. That's what I'm gonna do with it. And then I'll just use it myself. So I've never had any problems in my life with um, having issues with using used eyeshadow before. So got that. And then at another yard sale, I found a Java sock. Guys, I cannot express how amazing Java socks are. I got one of these for Christmas. Eric got me one last year for Christmas. Um, it's a smaller one. Typically, like when I go to Starbucks, I get grande size. So I have the like the grande sized one. So it's basically like a koozie almost. Like you put over iced coffees specifically. I mean, you could use it for other stuff I guess that's cold um, but iced coffee specifically is what it's made for so it's it's perfect because it keeps the wetness off your hand so your hand isn't freezing cold and it also keeps it from you know how when you drink sweats dr uh, drips all inside your cup holder or all over your pants or what have you so it's basically a lifesaver especially if you drink a lot of iced coffees like I do so when I found this, I pretty much like squealed because this one's a larger size. This one is for um, Dunkin' Large, Starbucks, Trenta, and McCafe's 30, 32 ounce. So for like the really large sizes, which I don't typically get, but I have one if I ever do get like a really large size. This was $2 and it has a really cool print on. I can't remember how much these are like on their website. I don't think it's like a ton or anything like that. Um, like I said, Eric got me one that has space cat astronauts all over it. That was in my stocking last year for Christmas and I use it literally every week when I get um, a iced coffee because I'm obsessed. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Had to let me know what you thought down in the comments. I've um, got an auction preview to go to today. I already went to one, but 
I didn't really see anything there that interested me, so I'm not going to bother with um, having either me or Eric go to it. Um, and tomorrow starts yard sales, but it wants rain in the morning, so I think I'm going to have him go to another auction, and then I'm going to go to a rummage sale, so we can be at two places at once. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.